In the late 1950s, American engineer Wilson Greatbatch was in his workshop, building a simple device to record heart sounds in animals. He reached into a parts bin, grabbed what he thought was the correct resistor, and picked the wrong one. When he wired it in, the circuit didn't produce a smooth recording signal at all. Instead, it pulsed. Looped up. Looped up. The irregular circuit was firing in a steady rhythm, eerily like a heartbeat. Great Batch stared at the blinking output and realized what his mistake had given him, not a better. Recorder, but the core of a device that could drive a heartbeat itself. Out of that failed experiment came the first implantable cardiac pacemaker, small enough to fit into the human body and strong enough to keep a damaged heart in rhythm. Within a few years, patients who would have died from slow, failing hearts were walking around with a battery-powered mistake in their chests, keeping time.